Okay. Here we are. I'm messing around with my audio. I think I broke it. But we'll uh, play it cool. I think everything else is working. My, my memes are busted. That's all. So today we have inflation rising, 42, and DPS LTT. So let's let's go and grab them really quick. I think I have shade here. Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I need to switch them. They are team two this time. So we are waiting on, we're waiting on, we are waiting on Shade. Okay, let's invite that guy. Sending invites, so let's see if they accept it. There they are. Okay. Both teams are here. All right, so teams are in the right place. All right, let's get this underway. So today we have, what do we have? So we have River City Conquest, Hibernal Rift, Domination, Frozen City Night, Classic Conquest, Demo Veil, Domination, HPG Manifold, Conquest. Okay, so let's see. The teams are starting to ready up. We got 42, three guys are green, five guys are red. Oh, four. Four to four. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. My name is Ed. Oh, sorry. I left the channel open. The commercial started.
Okay, looks like team one is locked. There we go. I'm excited to see what DPS does this time. It's always it's always fun to watch these guys. They are some of the most aggressive comp players I have seen in a very long time. It's it's almost it almost puts like Div B and A to shame. It really does. <laughs> oh man. Alright, so I am expecting lots of PPCs from 42. I may be wrong, but it's it's a guess. It's an assumption based on what they've been doing in the soup. Lots of four mans with PPCs and whatnot. So let's see. Alright, waiting for the locked confirmation, and we will get going here. Okay, both teams are locked. All right, four seventy-five tons to four eighty. I see something similar here. Let's see. All right, we are going. I remembered to switch the screen this time. I may have broken my memes but I think you guys can still hear them. So we'll just go from there. Forget what button that is. Oh, right, hold on a sec. Something is amiss here. There we are. You know, I gotta admit, it's a nice view of River City, but I just I just wish more of this city was utilized. I wish there was more of it, you know. That'd be cool. Command coming in. Capture and hold the resource point. Stop any hostiles that get in your way. Alright, so from 42 we have Good night, the Cicada 2A. Herod in Timberwolf Bounty Hunter, Extra Walk in the Locust 1E. One of my favorites. Zudikai in a Vapor Eagle 1, Shade in an Arctic Cheetah Prime. Here, let's see, is it machine guns? It is five ER medium lasers. Okay. Amarok in the Linebacker B, Prometheus in the Madcat 2 1, and Evan in a Marauder 4L. Let me guess, it's PPC Goss. Okay. He's already shooting at people. So it looks like damage per second has double crab, double executioner, double linebacker, double javelin. Oh, it's so easy to read these guys. <laughs> so good. Double this, double that. Easy peasy. All right. So what are we expecting? We are expecting a massive push into spaceport. Oh, check this out. Okay, javelin 11F are coming in the back. People are coming in. Executioners are quick, but they are they are taking damage. It's it's gonna hurt. It's gonna be painful. If they can if they can get in on their assaults, I think they'll have an easy time. Oh, oh javelin is doing something. It's jumping really high. Okay, let's see where the push is going. Javelin is in. Linebacker's in. He's running in circles. Okay, Direwolf saying is taking the brunt of the force here. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, they're going. I don't know which way. <laughs> oh, shit! That one is dead. Okay, Crab is down. The assaults are backing up as far away as they can get. And what are these lights doing back here? There's a Javelin 11F harassing two or three mechs, trying to keep them busy while they close in on the assaults here. It is working, but they are they're losing bits and pieces as they go. But they do get Evan. So let's see, Mad Cat Prometheus is next. They are on the assaults, they have good focus on him. His legs are falling apart very quickly. He's dead. Now they're turning their attention to the cheetah. Yes, look at this. They're all 
Some of them are really hurt, but they're still pressing the W key. And Shade is legged, and there it goes, three to one. There's some really injured ones. Chiron is still kicking. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> it's like 41%. Oh my goodness. He has finally decided to cycle out. Looks like Awesome Guys has pulled a few off in an effort. That's good, that's good. Okay, four left. There we go. Linebacker B, Amarok is dead. Now it's down to three. Three to six. They have resource point gamma. Man, caps just did not matter at this point. They are just pressing the W key as hard as they can. Oh man, what a rush. All right, extra guac is next. We do have to get to this Vapor Eagle at some point. He is, he is getting away. I don't know how far he's gonna run, but he might take a few of them with him. Let's check on this Annihilator. He's been getting shot at recently. Oh, he's... Wow. He's only open CT. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That is just a ton of armor. You gotta love it. Yeah, the big thing there was awesome guys in the Javelin 11F holding three or four people in the lower city while the push was happening. I was saying did eat that, but he ate it for the rest of his team, so that was that was good. Very well played, very well played, DPS. Jeez, holy cannoli. Alright, let's see. Let's see the damage scores. So low scores over the entire team. That means they were shooting legs and they were really well focused. And then same for this side, they were just trying to compensate for the, the deaths happening so quickly, but they, they just couldn't. So, not really high damage, but a nice, a nice organized grouping, around 300, 400 damage. Nothing crazy. Pretty good, pretty good. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Okay. Here we are. Let's see. Oh, right. I can change the map. Duh. Okay, Hibernal Rift Domination. Domination. Oh, no, not HPG. Oops. There we go. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, I think I think my memes are broken. I'll have to fix them. I know the uh, the sound is busted at the moment. I don't know what I did, I, I hit a button and suddenly no sound. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to figure out what's going on. Now we're just waiting for teams to ready up again, and we will go from there. I know you guys will hear this late, but if it does happen to a radio cast, please pop into one of the casting channels and uh, just let me know, okay? I'll be hiding in there if anyone comes to bug me. <laughs>
right, looks like Shade is the last one to ready up on team one. All right. like they are ready to go. Haven't gotten the locked message yet, but I think they're they're not far off. They've locked at 490 tons. Okay, there it is. 42 is locked. Mm -hmm. much to really say about these two teams is you see 42 running around in soup, you see DPS running around in soup. There are two particular pilots in DPS, Star Wolf and Lady Wolf. They are both streamers. So I think I've mentioned it before, but it's very impressive to see people start streaming and then suddenly they're in comp and then they're steamrolling people. <laughs> it's exciting. Very exciting to see that. All right, both teams are locked, so let's uh, skip the foreplay and just get right into it. Okay, match number two, Domination Hibernal Rift. Here we go. Boop. Right, right, radio cast, radio cast. I gotta fix that. I gotta fix my memes, man. This isn't... the channel's not the same without them. <laughs> well, there's the Travolta one. That one has no sound anyway. Yeah. I broke something, that's for sure. Alright, anyway, enough about that. Let's see, what did these teams bring to the party. So for 42, I see what? Let's see. Double Mad Cat Mark II. One is a Death Strike. Laser Vomit Goss, I'm assuming. Mad Cat Dash B for Harad. So we have two Daka Daka boats. Let's check this out. Okay, so yep, Daka there, Daka there. This is Laser Goss. Javelin 10F is three light PPCs. Hmm. Okay, that's a good one. I enjoy playing that mech in soup. What's this? Harad, Zudikai, and triple PPCs. Okay, Hunchback 2C A. Yep, 4 ER large for extra walk. And then the Grasshopper 5H, also ER large and ER mediums. Now for DPS, we have double Annihilator 1A, double Night Gear B, double Phoenix Hawk 7S. Double Firestarter Dash A. Oh my goodness. Check this out. Okay, what do we have? We have Daka on the Night Gears, Daka on the Annihilators, SPLs on the Phoenix Hawks, and yep. The list goes on. Okay, so what's on the Firestarters? Oh, looks like they're doing a bit of a flank here. Oh shit. Okay, SPLs, SPLs, SPLs. Oh, here they go. Look, they are jumping in while the push is happening. Oh, oh, a bit of a, a pincer maneuver. Oh, shit. Okay, Chiron is getting blasted. Ooh, it was the last in. Should have gone with his friends earlier. But they're in. They are definitely in. The Annihilators are pushing. There is not much happening here, but Mitsu Red does die. That's not good. Shade is legged in the Arctic Cheetah, though. So this may, this may come in handy here. 
Ooh, Dire Wolf saying, I think that was an ammo explosion. Uh oh. Ooh, this is it's getting pretty spicy. Looks like Evan does go down. The Annihilators are just sponging damage right now. So far, it's even, two and two. Prometheus does drop. I think they're trying to get this Night here or this Mad Cat Mark II. They're trying for it. They're still on him with the lights. Chiron is legged, but he's just he's just tanking damage at the moment. Tylus gets shade. Awesome kills Harad. It is five to four. Barely hurt Mex. All right, Lady Wolf goes down from Zudikai. I think Titus Q is next. Yeah, I think they've got it. As long as they've got some fairly fresh mechs up at this point, I think they can pull it out. Chiron is legged. I think he's really hurt, too. Yeah, he's five SPLs, one leg. Who knows? It may go badly. Tylus is open in the CT. And these last three 42 mechs are still really fresh. Don't know what's about to happen here. Chiron is just hanging in the back right now. And yeah, this javelin is just running circles around them, causing so much trouble. There goes Alpheus. Ouch, I think. I think it's gonna turn around here. 42 may have just received that push really well. Yeah, I don't know what happened to Direwolf saying it looked like an ammo explosion. That that may have cost them really big points in that push though. Gotta be careful where you put that ammo. But look at this! They're still in the circle! If Awesome Guys gets away, he's gonna win. Look at that! Look at the timer! Oh! Oh, goodness gracious. Oh! <laughs> they won! And they pull it off with the timer. Hey, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay. Look at that, they pushed them out of the circle and then they were fast enough to get back in. Damn, son. Alright. <laughs> wow, check that out. Okay, so... Yeah, same thing, nothing over 600 damage. There's a lot more meat to chew on this time. But yeah, nothing nothing too spectacular. Good damage spread from both teams. I mean, this is what you can expect. Low damage numbers from people that are getting run over by these gigantic mechs. So yeah, this is this is pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Okay, that's drop two. Right, and the next drop is Frozen City Night Classic Conquest. Okay, nothing needs to be changed. Just gotta wait for these guys to ready up again. This is this is so much fun to watch. <laughs> My goodness. I don't know. I am I'm having a blast just watching DPS play. It's it's so cool to see a team this organized down here and this this confident. Like, these guys don't even care. They are just, they are holding that W key down, and it is just, it never, never goes up. <laughs> there are no other keys pressed. It is amazing. All right, so now we're waiting for 42 to ready up. Alright, 
switching their lances around. You know, it's a little weird, but I'm noticing a pattern. DPS is, is bringing lots of double mechs. It, it makes it easy to read, but I'm curious. I'm curious if this is part of the strategy. Hmm. That's just speculation. I don't know. I'm just talking out my ass right now. Team one is almost ready, just waiting for her rod. Okay. Bald guy, what? Alright, team one is locked. Okay. Let's see, let's see DPS. They ready up fairly quickly, so some some lulls of silence are pretty good. All right, both teams are ready, waiting for the locked signal. Oh, there it is! There it is. Okay. Let's launch into match three. So Forty-two is at four seventy tons, and team two is at four sixty. All right, fairly close tonnages. It's not much to really telegraph here. Okay, well, let's get it on with it. Remember, no radio cast. I have to switch the scenes. All right, what do we have? Oh. Oh, hey, hey, look at this. I know which team this is. This is DPS. <laughs> yes, look, Direwolf saying, I love Annihilators. Double Atlas. One is a Kraken. One is a D class Atlas. Okay. So, what do we have? We have Double Atlas, Double Arctic Wolf, Double Flea, Double Black Widow. Check this out. It is so cool to see this atlas. Oh, triple snub, AC20. All right, all right. So what's on the Arctic Wolf? The Arctic Wolf is probably the same. Five SRM2, four SRM6. Okay, it meets red in the tunnel. All right, let's check out 42 before people start getting run over. Okay, so we have double Blood Asp dash A. I think this is DACA, yep. Ultra Fives, Ultra Tens. Timber Wolf, Large Pulse, Medium Lasers. Vulcan, Vulcan and Wolfhound are both, oh no, Vulcan is Pulse Lasers, and Wolfhound 1A is ER Medium Lasers. Alright, Mitsu Red is already in their backfield. Looks like Amarok is, uh, uh oh, I think he's stuck, I think he disconnected. It is past the minute mark, and it looks like they're already fighting. Okay, both Atlases are in. Mitsu Red is in the back. He's ignored Amarok. And he's gone straight over to help his teammates. Yeah, just a big mess happening here. Looks like Prometheus is getting torn to pieces. Zudekai is next on the list for these double Arctic Wolves. Just. Oh, look at it. Look at the destruction. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> you gotta love it. You gotta love the Atlas Bush. <laughs> Holy shit. And looks like they are just they just coming over. Hirad did cycle out, but he is heavily wounded. Okay, let's see. There are 8 billion UAVs on my screen right now. 
So check this out. The, the fight happened right over here. Right in Charlie 2, Charlie 4 area. Wow. Exciting. All right. And Emerock. Yeah, it looks like it was a DC. Uh-oh. Nope, he's back. He's come back at the end. I'm surprised there wasn't a hold called. Or did I miss it? Alright, Amarok is just coming into the meat grinder, and there he goes. Chiron pulling 566 in an arctic wolf. He was just, he was going to town. Yeah. Direwolf saying, doing damage this time, and living fairly long there. 508, two kills. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, those atlases came in with the arctic wolves, and they just... Whoo-wee. Bad things happened. Very bad things happened. <laughs> okay, well, there you have it. Okay, I need to switch teams now. I think that's all of them, right? DPS, DPS, 8 DPS, 742, well, DSX guy, but yeah. All right, let's move on to the next drop. The next drop is, what is the next drop? Emerald Veil Domination. Okay, let's see what they've got in store for us this time. Emerald Veil, Emerald Veil, there you are, okay. Right. Very, very impressive showing from DPS. The wins have been close, but they've all been in favor of DPS at this point. Really close one so far was the Hibernal Rift. But the rest have just been commanding victory after commanding victory. <laughs> kind of terrifying. They are, they are really a force to be reckoned with. Alright, I'm expecting a kitchen sink build from Zanorin this time. He's he's the one we saw last DPS match with the kitchen sink viper, so let's see if he brings another kitchen sink. <laughs> Okay, waiting for awesome guys to ready up, then they will lock, then we'll be waiting for 42. Alright, DPS is locked. Locked for match four. Yeah, 
I'm curious to see what a Brawl team does here. Especially a very aggressive Brawl team. Because yesterday we had a match with Indiv B, Smoke Adders against Esrot, and Esrot had a big stall with their Brawl push, and it just gave Smoke Adders so much, so much land to deal with, and it was just it was a nightmare for them. But they ended up tying that match. So I'm curious to see what this Brawl team does in the face of 42. So they are a bit heavier though, 495 from DPS. Hmm. Yeah, so I have I have the stream up or the, the channel up on, on my second monitor and I'm just I am just watching that Atlas push all over again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it has been so long since I've seen a good Atlas push. So, you know, this is just it's a trip down memory lane. You don't see it often. Man, is it is it a sight to behold. Okay, both teams are locked. Let's go. Drop four. Both teams are locked and loaded. Let's go. 10 tonnage difference between DPS and 42. Let's see how that ends. Alright, here we go. Oh gosh, I left it. I left it on the screen. Whoops. Well, I guess we don't need to change the channel anyway. <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? We were watching the lobby anyway. There's nothing interesting going on. Now we're doing the switch the seeds in reverse. <laughs> oh man. Alright. Let's check this out. What do we have coming here? Any second now, whenever they load in. Ooh, I'm gonna take a sneak peek. What do we have? Oh, okay. Alright, so let's check this out. So for DPS, we have double direwolf B, double summoner. Oh, they're on this side. Whoops. Double, Black Lantern, Miss Lynx, and a Flea. Alright. What's on the summoners? I'm guessing 4 SPL, yep, 4 SPL, 2 PPC. But check this out, this Miss Lynx just got a really nice view up there. And he, he damaged his legs for that. Alright, so they are in the circle. It is 2 seconds for 42. What do they have on these Kodiaks? He's both quad goss. Yes, yes they are. Okay. Double quad goss Kodiaks. Jesus Christ. Damn thing is a menace. <laughs> it's so cool. We're seeing all of these old mechs, atlases, Kodiaks. Man, check this out. Check this out. Alright. Oh, goss is being traded across. Both direwolves. Five ER large and double gauze. Okay. So it looks like they brought some Overwatch this time. They're not as peaky pokey. Or they're not as brawly, I should say. My bad. So how are the trades going? 91% for Evan. Against what? Bald guy and Direwolf saying 87. Oh, he's he's taking the brunt of that. That double gauze does not feel good. No, it doesn't, especially when there's eight of them. They are just 
picking at each other right now. You've got the mislinks jumping a million meters in the air, which is a bad idea. You don't want to do that because your legs are going to fall off. But he's, he's doing it anyway. He's doing it live. They've gotten three already. UAV is up for both teams. They are trying to get those things out. Has anyone noticed yet? Yep. Both teams have noticed the UAVs. Okay. Incubus 4 Shade is really hurt. What happened to him? Oh, one of his side torsos is open. Yikes. Let's check on the Dire Wolves. How are they doing? 90% for Bald Guy. 80% for Dire Wolves Sang. Both of them have arms open. Let's check out these Kodiaks. So it looks like Evan is soft in one torso. Oh man. This isn't good. Sending that quad goss down, no heat on it. It's pretty spectacular. Okay, I think there's gonna be a move made on the Incubus here by the Summoner. Yeah, it is just it is just a nice standoff. Little pokes and prods. This incubus is getting a little aggressive. I'm hoping one of them notices that this this Incubus is really hurt and they could just sneeze on him. Potentially grab something from him. Ooh, ooh, extra Grok is getting hit by a direwolf. Oh no! <laughs> he got it in the arm. Oh, he's very lucky. Very lucky that didn't hit Side Torso. That would have been a very bad time. Looks like 42 is getting aggressive. They are moving forward with their heavies. I'm not keeping track of the trades right now, but it does seem that perhaps it is going badly for the direwolf. Direwolf saying he's still got all of his armor. He is going to lose an arm, though. That's not much, because there's no weapons in there. Okay, what, what else is happening here? Yeah, it's just more, more of the same. The good thing here is that they did change it up a little bit. They brought some range, but they didn't bring too much of it. They brought two pop tarts and two long range that is is more than necessary there oh looks like they're making a move they're going in uh oh okay they left the summoners behind now they have a complete idea of what's on the 42 side chiron does kill extra guac ouch very nice shot i did miss that <laughs> Check this out, they did get a kill from that maneuver, and then they're coming back in. And are they are they gonna jump on the flea? Come on, they have to they have to jump on these guys. Like doing this passing stuff with short range max is not gonna work. You're gonna get your legs burned off. They, they have to go in. At this point, I would I would say send it right into that Warhammer. And just see what happens. Because at this rate, it is just it's a bit of a mess. They've got two heavies lined up right there, just ready to be killed. Come on, guys. You can do it. You can do it. Both this Grasshopper and this Warhammer are just asking to be murdered. <laughs> They're standing 300 meters away from all of these mechs. Like, man, that is, that is just asking to be shot. It looks like they are pulling back for some reason. Maybe it's gotten a little too hot, maybe they've lost a little too much. They are getting shot by the dire wolves. Uh-oh. I think they've moved into a worse position here. Okay, my uh my whatchamacallit is broken. I have to see. Target spotted. Let's check the view from the dire wolf. Let's see. What's he looking at? New target acquired. He's not seeing the Kodiaks anymore. The Kodiaks have Oh no, there's one. Oh, he's firing three and... Okay. He's almost in half, so he's got to be careful. Yep, Dylus has all of his armor. Okay. I'm no longer bugged, so this is good. Yeah, let's check out this. Okay, Amarok is almost open. They are really hurt, but they... Okay, Evan is in half, so they're down to six Goss rifles. Let's check their ammo. How's their ammo doing? 40 rounds? Yeah, I assume they packed a ton. And 
this guy's almost out of ammo. He's got, what, 12 shots left on that? Yeah, things are not looking good. So it seems like 42 is on the back foot, and they are still losing ground. They are just so hurt. At any point, they could just rush in and murder all of these guys. That would be, that would be good. Instead of this standoff, looks like it's going. Looks like it's happening. They're jumping on Shade. Oh, oh, they're gonna get the Warhammer. Oh yes, finally, finally. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. But they did play it pretty well. They let their traders do their work. They let the pop tarts do their work. And now they're they're just coming in to mess people up. That's that's pretty intelligent play there. Very nice. Very well played. Oh, Lady Wolf is in. Lady Wolf is going in. Oh, okay. Here comes the Norin. Wait, I have to check his build. Is it Kitchen Sink? Nah, it's not Kitchen Sink. I'm sad. Okay, Awesome Guys is running in a circle. I, I don't know what he's doing. They, they'll figure it out. They'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> Lady Wolf is just on a tear. Where is she going? She just gets in for free and then they leave her. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Okay, awesome guys. Takes out Shade. I think he's crippled. Yeah, he's just four SPLs, and he got legged by a teammate because he bumped into him. That's unfortunate. Whoa! Okay, I saw that PPC just fly through the summoner. That was, uh... It's <laughs> pretty exciting. Direwolf saying does win the trade against... Uh, who was that? Amarok. Wow. Okay, Evan is just... just a torso now. He's got no armor left on that Kodiak. Yikes. Self-destruction by Harad. So it's just Zudekai and Evan. Yeah, they are both they are both super hurt. Fortunately, Quad Goss is intimidating, but Blue Laser Goss is probably the better option. Especially in a trade war. Quad Goss versus ER Large, it's it's usually not a good trade because you get more range on those ER large lasers. You can just tickle a little further. Alright, so it's just Evan now. And that brings it to 4-0 for DPS against 42. Yeah, that was... It was a fairly good play by DPS to let their pop tartars and traders do their work and have the little guys run around and screen for them. And then come in right at the end. That's... Pretty textbook. Very nice. Very nice. Eight forty-six for Direwolf Sang. Jeez. And you can see the big difference here, right? The Kodiaks are doing three fifty, three twenty-two, and then the Direwolves are doing eight, eight forty-six, almost double their damage entirely. So yeah, that that puts you into perspective against ER Large and Goss and Quad Goss, just how effective those two are at range. Big parallel there. Alright, well, that is all she wrote for drop four. Okay, we are going into the last match. It is Conquest. Frozen... Oh, no, 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 that's next week. HPG Manifold. And it's on Conquest. Okay. Waiting for DPS to ready up. Get going here. Man, that is just wow. Wild to see. Wild to see. Big C is just popping off. <laughs> I'm curious to see what the other matches are looking like. I wonder if there are any, any T 
teams just as, or if not more proactive or more aggressive than DPS. I'm, I'm curious now. I will say it is it has been nice. It's it's been a fairly quick match. What we're still we're still under an hour and we're at drop five already. So that's that's pretty good timing. I enjoy things like this when you know lobbies are quick and exciting and there's not much downtime compared to what's what's been done in the past with you know MRBC, other other eight V eights and in higher divisions, just Sitting there forever. People are doing last minute strats, last minute readjustments, and just. I don't know what else they're doing up there, but it just seems to take forever in the higher divisions. Okay, looks like DPS is starting to ready up. One person did drop out to go and fix things. Fix some mechs, make some adjustments. Alright. I'm excited. I'm excited for this one. Just it has been it has been such a joy to watch these guys. <laughs> Their last match was just, if you think this is good, you should have seen their last one. Just as good. Four, I think 4-1 four, for them there. Yeah, so this is starting to look like a 5-0 for DPS. I don't want to speak too soon, but maybe we'll, maybe we'll see 42 bounce back. Who knows? Let's see what happens. DPS is locked. Okay. Okay, 42, waiting for the guys to get back. Let's see what else is in store here. Yeah, you'll have to excuse the noises in the background. My sister is busy talking to people on the phone, left it on speakerphone, and now we're hearing all the background noise. This is interesting. My house is very small. The walls are very thin. It's unfortunate. You can hear people fart from across the house. It's pretty awesome. Don't mind me. I just live in a house made of plywood. <laughs> oh, anyway. Looks like 42 is almost ready. One more, and then we will kick this off. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, Shade, you can do it. <laughs> oh man. I'm sorry guys, I just, I, I am so excited to see brawling in comp because in soup it is just good luck trying to brawl. You just get mid range to death and now it's here, now it's in comp. There you go. Okay, both teams are locked, so let's let's get on with it. Enough personal bias. Alright. 
both teams are ready. Conquest HPG Manifold. Let's let's get down to business. HPG Manifold. And seeing that massive satellite is so cool. You could just take a picture of this, like, look at that. It's awesome. <laughs> that is the coolest shit ever. Alright, anyway. Teams are almost in. Gotta get the scorecard back up. Alright, so for DPS we have Summoner, Executioner, Double Viper, Double Viper F, Flea 17, Direwolf B, Hellbringer Virago, and Missling Stash C. So we're gonna see We're gonna see a nice mix of ranged and brawl. Let's see what's on these executioners. These this might be different. Ah, triple PPC and 10 micro lasers. Okay. The Mistling C, what is that? It is 8 machine guns, heavy small lasers. Dire Wolf B is double goss, 5 year large. Okay, alright. Now the double Viper F, what is going on here? 2 small pulse, 1 micro pulse, 8 heavy machine guns. Sweet Jesus. Alright, I'm gonna assume it's on the other one too. No, this one is 5 ER micros and 8 heavy machine guns. Whoa! Right, looks like they have found the spider. That spider should probably start running. I would, if I were him. Surprisingly, it's only one mech down there. Oh, Locust 1E, Warhammer 6D are all coming to Theta. So the Mistlings did join the Vipers, but I think they are, they're splitting off. And the trades are coming out. Now we have... Alright, what, what just fell off the wall? That was an Annihilator 2A from Amarok. It fell off the wall with six AC2s, three light peeps. Uh, we have a Stormcrow Lacerator. All right, all right, very cool. Five mediums, two large pulse, tiny Stormcrow. Oh, they are pushing the basement. Check this out, okay. All right, let's see if there's anything on the other side to receive this, no? So six, six mechs have flooded the basement. That's 42. Now, do they know that it's happening? Ooh, Alpheus, I would not stand there. Okay, they've got three in the door. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Do they know? Okay, the summoner's dropping down. What else is dropping down? Execute. Oh, Flea is coming in. It's Red has taken a shitload of damage. Ouch. That, that hurts. Okay, they're coming back in. It's 4v6. Lots of DPS flying around. I, I don't think it's going well for DPS at this point. They have taken a shitload of damage trying to trying to answer the call of that push. Lady Wolf is not in a great spot. They are still fighting though. They are still going at it. Like what in the world? Wow, check this out. Outnumbered and still going. Okay, awesome guys is legged. That's the end of him. Missling C is back. Shade is gone. Shade is gonna get legged here. Any second now. There he goes. Okay, both Vipers are legged. Alpheus is next. Oh, okay. This isn't going good. This is not going well. Chiron is next. Mitsu Red does kill Good Knight. If he gets away, if he gets away, it'll be really good. But yeah, they're they're losing people. They're losing people quick. They're just legging each other. Oh, Titus Q is shut down. Titus Q is shut down. Oh, are they going to get him? Oh, yes, they have to. They have to now. Yeah, if, if Titus keeps his legs, I think they'll win. Lady Wolf has to split now and not get legged so they can start capping. The Annihilator 2A did get farmed on his way in. I did miss it. That's the unfortunate part about having one cast is... You get to watch one part of the match. 
Right, so the Annihilator is coming in to help, but I think... I think Tylus and DPS have realized it is time to split, time to run away. I think Lady Wolf is stuck. Oh, she's legged. That's, that is unfortunate. Yeah, and they still have an unlegged Locust, which is pretty dangerous because he could take all the caps away. Oh, they're so tiny to click on. Okay, six mediums. Yeah, that, that was really disastrous for DPS. Oh, what's this? Who's gone off to split? Ah, the Mistlinks. The Mistlinks has gone to split for caps. Rod has killed Lady Wolf. And there it is. It's a cap game now. People are in the basement. The bald guy is still on the wall with a Virago. Maybe this is a good thing. The Marauder 4L is now in half. Here, let's check it out. He's one Goss Rifle, but he's not much of a threat here. Where is that dire wolf? Okay. They are trying to watch the cabs at least. Looks like Dylus is gonna get gonna get really hurt here. He might die. Oh, he's going in to die. Oh, okay. I wouldn't have done that. I would have stalled at least. But it's 4-1. They've they've gotten most of the points they need, so let's see if the light mech can pull off a cap win here. I, I don't know, because Mitsured's legs are probably really toasted right now. Oh no, he's just open center torso. Okay, his legs are still intact. Look at this, Virago is still trading against these guys. I wonder, how hurt is he? He should be fine. Oh, he's open a side torso. Soft armor on the opposite one. Look at this. Wow, this linebacker completely missed, completely missed Mitsu Red. He's gonna find out though, if, as soon as he starts flipping Kappa. Oh, he's, he's playing it cool. He's playing it really cool. He doesn't want to touch Kappa yet. I wouldn't touch Kappa yet, but they're waiting. Oh, I think they've seen him. Yes, they have, they have seen him. Okay, Mitsu Red is in half now, and he's dead. Yeah, it. It looks like it's going to be a 42 win here. Firewolf Sang has come down from the wall. If they can get a 3 cap fairly soon, I think they'll have it. Because all they have to do is take Theta. It's 546. They may pull it off if they get an extra kill, if this Hellbringer somehow kills something. Because this guy is... oh, he's only in half. Direwolf, oh, Herod is open in the back. Both legs are open on him. Yeah, this may this may be trouble. And this linebacker is what? Here, let me see. He's missing. Oh, his leg is so damaged that it's not on the not on the paper doll. Okay. Alright, so Direwolf saying is in the basement. He's 81%. He's he's fairly fresh. I mean, if he if he can kill at least one person before the fight starts down at Theta, they may they may have it. But I think, I think it's going to come down to the wire here. They're coming back into the basement now. Let's see if Darwolf Sang can pull off a miracle here. I would say it's almost too late for the caps to change. That Direwolf was really slow on the way in. And he can just dance around the, the little center part here. At least the Stormcrow can. Oh, Stormcrow's legged. I don't know what Darwolf Sang is up to, but yeah. I think it's gonna go for 42 on caps because they still have their Locust and their linebacker up. So, I mean, it's 4v1. The Direwolf is fighting an Annihilator. He's almost dead. Let's kill him, but he is legged in the process. Yeah, it is just, it is not looking good. And there it is, 42 does pull it back. Surprise aggression on HPG from 42. Okay. That paid off well for them. Yeah, I, I don't think DPS had a really good answer for the HPG Brawl Basement. Alright. 
4 1. 42 making a comeback. Last match. Fairly solid. Okay, Harad doing 597 and Direwolf Sang doing 684 in the Direwolf for both teams respectively. Very nice, very nice. It's good to see not a complete stomp. Alright, well there you have it. That was 42 versus DPS LTT. Yeah, I feel like it... I don't know if there was knowledge, but if you know you're on the back foot for a brawl in the basement, you shouldn't take it. They had so many fast mechs that could have just split split off and capped everything and just come back to sit with a dire wolf. But again, hindsight is 2020. I don't think they really had the information. I, I guess they felt overconfident that they could take that fight. And yeah, they just... They poured, 42 poured everything into that basement. So that's that's kind of what killed them there, is just sheer numbers. All right, well, there it is. DPS versus 42, not much else after that. So thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it. I think, uh, I think there are a few more matches today. I'm not, not quite sure, but uh, yeah, you may see more MWO casters running around somewhere. So until then, I bid you guys farewell. I hope you enjoyed the matches. Thank you 42 and DPS for letting us cast this match. And yeah, that's, that's about it. So I'll see you guys around. Take care. Farewell. Bye bye.